let us look at proposition number 18 of book 9 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, given two numbers to investigate whether it is possible to find a third proportional to them. So, we have two numbers A and B. We have to find a third proportional. So basically, the idea of this proposition is to figure out uh, when is it possible to find the third proportion. Okay, let's take it step by step. Given two numbers A and B, two numbers may be relatively prime or they may not be relatively prime. So, those are the two options. So, let's take the first case. A and B are relatively prime. Now, we have already seen in uh, a previous proposition that if A and B are relatively prime, it is not possible to find a third proportional. Third proportional basically means if we are given A and B, then A is to B is equal to B is to C. C is the third proportional. The second case is A and B are not relatively prime. Let B multiplied by itself make C. So basically C is B square. Now we have two cases. A will either measure C or it will not measure C. Yes. So we had A and B. We multiplied B by itself to get C. And now A will be able to measure C or it may not be able. So let's take it one by one. A measures C. Let A measure C according to D, which means C is equal to A times D. And we know that C is equal to B times B. B multiplied by itself makes C. So, which means A times D is equal to B times B. And if we write it in proportion form, it will become A is to B as B is to D. So, we got the third proportional. Here, D is the third proportional. Now, let us look at the other case where A does not measure C. Let us assume that D is the third proportion. Then in that case, A times D is equal to B times B, just like in this case, which means A times D is equal to C. That means A measures C according to D, which is a contradiction. Why? Because here we are saying A measures C according to D, but we started off by saying A does not measure C. So, we have a contradiction. So, that means no third proportional can be found. So, overall, when can we have a third proportional? Only when B multiplied by B makes a C and A measures a C. Or in other words, we can say if A measures B square. And that is possible only when A and B are not relatively prime. If they are relatively prime, no third proportional. If uh, once we um, uh, multiply B by itself to make C and A and B are not relatively prime, then if A does not measure C, again we do not have a third proportional. So, that is proposition number 18 of book 9 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now. Bye.